Hey guys and welcome to the 3 point lighting system tutorial for Blender. This tutorial goes over a very standard setup for lighting in a lot of different places, not only in photography and CG, but for film as well. So it's a very standard lighting setup and it's called the 3 point lighting system. I'm going to go over exactly what it is and how to set it up, the concept behind it, and we're going to do it in Blender using lamps. So let's just go over what the 3 point lighting system is. You basically have three lights. One of them is called the key light, one of them is called the fill light, and one of them is called the rim light, or the backlight. So there's various different explanations for this, but the overview is that the key light is the main light. It's the primary key lighting source. So when someone looks at a scene and they, they're like, oh, the light's coming from the top left-hand corner, they're referring to, most of the time, the key light, because that's the light that defines the light source in the scene. Now, the fill light is basically the light that fills a little bit of the shadows that the key light casts. So it, it's basically a shadow softener. So if you take this, the shadows and if they're a little bit too harsh, a little bit too contrasty, they're a little bit too dark, the fill light is what counters that. So it makes it just a little bit brighter. So it's a very, very soft light, not nearly as bright as the key light, but just bright enough to brighten up those shadows just a little bit and soften the contrast that the key light makes. The third light is called the backlight or the rim light. Now this is, as you might be able to tell from the name, is behind the subject. And this casts a really bright light most of the time. It's actually usually the brightest light in the scene, but is there just to give a sliver of lighting around the edge of the character. And we'll go over this and show you guys as we light this scene. But that gives the character an outline, an actual outline in the scene to help it stand out from the background. So it's a very, very useful lighting technique to help your character stand out. So this three-point lighting system is super simple, but is fundamental for understanding how lighting works and how to play around with lighting in a scene. So let's go ahead and recreate that in Blender. So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and add three-point lamps. Now, it's a very easy way to do this. You can just add one lamp, Shift-D to duplicate, Shift-D to duplicate, Shift-Z to move along the flat plane there. So that's a very simple way to do it if you want to do it quickly. Instead of adding each lamp individually, you can just duplicate it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and choose, oh, what are we going to call each one of these? I'm going to go ahead and open up the end panel and call this item the key light. This one will be the fill. And this back one over here, of course, will be the rim light. So those are my three lights for the three-point lighting system. So this will be in the back. This will be the fill. So this is going to be the fill. It should be the opposite side of the key. So the key lamp is what gives us the main light source. And then the fill lamp is what softens those shadows. So I'm going to go opposite of that. So that's going to go top left. It's going to go bottom right. And then that looks pretty good. So if we go ahead and hit Shift Z, you'll notice that this doesn't really give us anything at all. All the lamps have the exact same values. So the emission values. So they're all the same brightness, which is not exactly what we want. As you guys remember, the rim light should be the brightest one. So let's just go ahead and make that, I don't know, 10,000, right? And you'll notice here, okay, so that's very, very bright in the back. Obviously too bright to look at directly. But remember, it's a rim light, so it's going to be in the back. So we won't see it directly. If we take a look at this, that's pretty good, honestly. Like that, that outlines our character pretty well. So that's a pretty good brightness. Now let's go ahead and lower the fill down to, I don't know, 10, let's say, and see what this looks like. Ah, yeah, so obviously we have a much more clearly defined key light here. The key light is over here on this side top left and then the fill light sort of softens those shadows. If we turn off this light completely you'll notice that the shadows are a little bit too dark so that's what the fill light is for. We're gonna go for like maybe a five maybe just to soften it just a little bit not too much. And then if you notice the rim light it's good but it's not that obvious so maybe we could actually move the rim light just a little bit to the left or something like that and now we have a bias towards that side and if we're not filming on this side, then that works out great. So we're just going to kind of move that rim light to a good place where we're really outlining those characteristics. So that is the basics of the three-point lighting system. You can tweak it a little bit. You can use a spot lamp, for example, and use a spot lamp as the rim light. There you get, that way you get a little bit more of a controlled look, especially if you have an environment around this area and you don't want to brighten up the entire environment. You can just use this spotlight to cast a rim light specifically on your character. And this is something that is very, very useful in 3D because in film, they, you typically use this, but they have to hide the rim light in some way because it can't be in the shot, but it has to be behind the character. So it's very tricky to position the rim light in a way that it makes sense and lights the scene properly. In 3D, the lights are invisible, so you can actually place the, 
rim light wherever you want, wherever it is most fitting. So it's very, very useful to use this system in a 3D setting, in a CG setting. So this is the three-point lighting system. And so I hope you guys understood the fundamentals of how this works and how to set it up in Blender.